Hi, my name is Nikki. I'm the Obsessive Bookseller, and today I want to share my all-time favorite science fiction series. I should put a caveat that while I feel like I'm really well-read in the fantasy genre with a good mix of a lot of modern and classic fantasy, sci-fi, I haven't gotten around to reading a lot of the classics like Dune and Asimov, so these are my favorites from 2000 through now. Getting more depth in the fantasy genre is something I'm actually hoping to do maybe next year after I finish reading a lot of these giant fantasy series. The first one I'd like to talk about is the series that I consider the holy grail in fantasy right now, and that is Leviathan Wakes by James S.A. Corey. It's the Expanse series, which is going to be nine books. The ninth book is coming out in a couple of months, and they even made a TV show out of it. This is space opera at its ultimate finest. You're following a crew of people. Every single character is a lot of fun to read about. There's a lot of action. There's a lot of excitement. When I very first read this book, I had a hard time putting it down at the end of the night and going to bed. It's one of those that is incredibly good at building momentum and sustaining it. So you kind of feel like you're at the edge of your seat while you're reading it. And I'd say the first three, the fifth book, and the eighth book are all really good at making me not want to put them down. While reading the eighth book in this series, Tiamat's Wrath, I think I yelled at the book a couple of times. These authors have a way of creating such deep, relatable characters. Whether you like them or not, you feel a connection with them because everybody is just so human. Everybody is flawed. And when something happens to one of those humans, it really hits you in the feels, especially characters that we've been following the whole series. So yes, of everything on my list, this series evokes the most reaction out of me, and I absolutely love that about it. I'm really hoping that the final book lives up to all of my expectations. Next is the Murderbot series by Martha Wells. The first one is called All Systems Red. And Murderbot is by far one of the best characters in the science fiction fantasy realm, in my humble opinion. It's so funny. It's an introvert, it really can't stand being around people, but due to its nature it has to put up with them on a daily basis, but it would much rather just tell everybody to F off and go sit in the corner and watch web serials. Murderbot is my spirit animal. One of the reasons the character is so successful is the writing style that Martha Wells brings to it. She's got a very sarcastic, sardonic, clipped writing style that really lends itself well to quick-witted dialogue. And the tone she sets with everything from how she describes the setting through Murderbot's eyes and the way she portrays its inner dialogue is just perfection. So if I didn't already love the character, I would probably love this series for just how strong of a writing style she has. I think there's another one coming out in the series next year. We're at six at the moment, so if she's going to write it, I'm going to pick it up immediately, even though these are like super thin novellas and they are 17 bucks a pop. Totally worth it. The next one I really love is Grim Space, the Sarantha Jacks series by Anne Aguirre. This is a lot of fun. It's a series of six books, and then there's a spin-off of another three books. And these read a lot like an urban fantasy set in space. So if you like Ilona Andrews, Patricia Briggs, Kim Harrison, you might really enjoy this one as a crossover. Um, Anne Aguirre is kind of hit or miss for me, but mostly hits. And what I love about her is she is incredibly good at writing relationships. And I'm not talking about the romantic kind. No, she is excellent at creating a bond between two characters, like comrades or really good friends. And it's kind of a breath of fresh air. Now, don't get me wrong, there is a romantic relationship in this series, but in my opinion, 
it takes a back seat to all the other cool things going on. Now, the spinoff, Perdition, is even stronger of a trilogy for me. It takes place on a giant space station prison where convicts are basically just left to fend for themselves. And so there's a lot of internal politicking, a lot of like battles for territory, and basically just a bunch of gangs. And yeah, I found it a lot of fun. The second book in this one is still one of my all-time favorite books I've ever read, so kudos. Now, if you've been following me on Goodreads for at least the last year, you've probably heard me rave about Planet Side by Michael Mame. This one caught me off guard with just how much I absolutely loved it. It's a military sci-fi, but the technical jargon and the military aspect does not dominate the story. It's mostly a mystery novel. This retired colonel is brought back into service to solve a disappearance, and he is one of my all-time favorite characters. He's got an incredibly sardonic way of looking at things. I really love the analytical approach and the way he deals with other characters in the story. And the book also has one of the most fantastic endings I've read in any sci-fi trilogy, or any series for that matter. So absolutely love this book. Five out of five stars. The next on the list is the Paradox series. First one's Fortune's Pawn by Rachel Bach. This is a trilogy, and it's another one like the Sarantha Jacks, where it reads more like an urban fantasy set in space. The main character is a typical badass heroine, and I will admit there are quite a few tropes in this one, but yeah, for some reason they worked for me. I really like this author's writing style. I've read everything she has published. Her Heart Striker series is fantastic. Her Eli Mom Press series is fantastic, so her writing really works for me. My favorite thing about this series is the alien creation. Uh, they were really unique and kind of beautiful. Overall, it left me with this profound sense of discovery and a really satisfying alien interaction story. And last but not least is the author Julie Chernita. This is Survival, book one in the Species Imperative series. And I absolutely love this science fiction writer. She actually started out professionally as a biologist and kind of found writing a little bit later. And her experience in the field of biology has led to some of the best alien creations that I've read in any series by any author. She is just so good at making aliens that are really diverse, really interesting, and biologically, they all make sense. And one of the things I look forward to the most in science fiction is the world building. Good world building in any genre always goes a long way with me, but it is especially profound in science fiction books. Because, I mean, space is so expansive, and it drives me crazy when I read too many science fictions that are all about the same basic type of alien interaction or the same basic type of space exploration. I really love the variety this adds to my paradigm of how the universe could be. I feel like the possibilities are endless on the kind of alien species out there, and Chernita is one of the few that I feel truly captures the creativity and kind of expands my mind on the things that could possibly exist out there. And I really love her touch of science throughout the whole thing. It's not one of those technically scientific novels that can get a little dry and boring. No, these are really engaging and they actually have some of the best situational humor that I've read in any book. So, yep, major kudos. I had a hard time picking a favorite series to highlight in this video, but Ultimately, this one takes the cake. So there you have it, my favorite sci-fi novels. I am serious about really wanting to dig into more science fiction fantasy. I've kind of dabbled here and there. I've tried like first books in series across the board, mostly newer things, but I'd love to hear some recommends on what some of your favorite science fiction novels are. 
I'm slowly building a TBR for when I finish all of these giant fantasy tomes. And have you read any of the ones on my list? And what did you think of them? Well, thank you so much for joining me today, and I hope to catch you next time. Bye.